Hello my little game development enthusiasts. Today will be the fifth part about how I am making a real-time strategy game in Unity. For those who haven't seen the previous video, it's an RTS in the spirit of classic strategies. A kind of symbiosis with Stick War Legacy and Age of Mythology called World of Stickman. But in this episode, I will tell you about another real-time strategy game, also featuring Stickmen, but for mobile devices. The idea for this game was suggested to me by one of my channel's viewers. He showed that there are many videos on YouTube where Stickmen with ragdoll physics battle against each other. The videos get a lot of views, but no one has made a game in this genre yet. Here an example of videos. Essentially, it's Stick War Legacy, only the Stickmen move one after another, not in rows and they don't need to be given commands to stand or attack. The gameplay is more casual. Units go straight into battle. Additionally, the characters have active ragdoll and procedural animation, which gives a mesmerizing effect, similar to the popular strategy game Total Accuracy Battle Simulator, but in 2D. And after some time, I shared this idea with my colleague, with whom we are working on an RTS about Stickman. He liked the idea too, and we decided why not take a break and quickly make this game. I'll say right away we couldn't do it quickly, but we did finish it. And now a bit about the game and the process of its creation. We had a game with source code of a similar genre and I thought of using it as a base, but still there were many differences and therefore the source code was of little use in the end. After all, it featured warriors running with pre-made animations without any physics, moving in different dimensions and having different gameplay. Additionally, they were made in 3D. We had to do everything practically from scratch. Well, the most difficult part was setting up the character physics based on Ragdoll and giving it animation. But after a week it was implemented. Then with the artist we drew the future units and their avatars and added them to the game. Initially there were 15 units. The peasant with a pitchfork is the very first and weakest unit. However, if you upgrade them and produce a large number, they can win any match. Next are the swordsmen, archer and spearman. A unit with an axe and a bandit with two knives. A spearman with a sword, also known as a hoplite. The healer is a questionable unit, but we decided to keep it. The mage is another ranged unit. Added a hero on horseback with a spear. Three siege weapons, a battering ram, a catapult and a siege tower. And the giant, currently the strongest unit in the game. We made it so that players couldn't hire all units at once, but gradually unlocked them as they progressed through the game. And in the game, they could only use 5 types of units. And which ones, exactly, so that the player could decide and choose before the battle. We also decided to add a unit upgrade system. We implemented it based on cards that need to be purchased and merged with identical ones, thereby increasing the unit's level. This kind of merge system, we got the idea from the mobile game Art of War. In addition to units, it was decided to add abilities to the game, also known as boosters or superpowers, which are unlocked and upgraded just like units, such as a rain of arrows, power enhancement, meteors, unit healing, and armor. Call for reinforcements, or summon a giant. Currently, there is one race available in the game that the player can play as and against. But now, we are working on adding new races and units, and we plan to include Vikings, Egyptians, Aztecs, Chinese, and inhabitants of the underworld. I delayed the video a bit because we released the game on Google Play in mid-December, and it appeared on the App Store a month later due to some minor issues with moderation, which was reluctant to publish our game, citing that there are plenty of such games on the App Store. And after several emails to support, we finally managed to get it published. We also created a page on Steam, well just to have it, and in a few days we'll upload a demo there. Of course it's not the typical format for games, but why not give it a try? Creating the first version of the game took about 3 months, 
For now, we're not heavily promoting it. We're trying to refine it. But we still bought a bit of traffic on Google Play to gather feedback and test it. For the most part, users leave positive reviews, though sometimes they complain about the difficulty and the high cost of unit cards. So we'll be balancing the game further. We also integrated some ads into the game, which annoys some commenters. But what can you do? It's free to play, and you can't do without ads and in-game purchases. And by the way, we added it too. The game is primarily created for advertising purchases, otherwise the expenses won't be recouped. That's the story of creating yet another Stickman game. I hope you found it interesting. If you want more, subscribe and be sure to play our game. That's all for now. Goodbye everyone.